rare adventures of Biggles. Intent on recapturing the plane, Bertie and Colonel Summers take advantage of the darkness and trick the Negro ashore with the dinghy. After disposing of the man, they row quickly out to the Catalina. But when Zoratov, peering through the entrance blister, recognizes them, he slams shut the first back's hatch, locking the Englishman out of their own aircraft. Beagles, too, has plans to recapture the plane. He and Tom Haymans have commandeered the Vega and are racing the yacht through the mangrove swamp in an effort to reach Manowar Bay before von Stahlheim. They've almost reached open water when there's a shuddering jar. The Vega has run onto a sandbank. Tom rushes down to the engine, and for some moments, they try desperately to force the yacht clear. Anything happening? She isn't budging. Forget it, Tom, and come back here. Right there. Show me a jiffy. Oh, this is a mess, Biggles. Fancy being stranded here. We aren't stranded. I've been looking over the side. That sandbank stretches right into the mud. The water's only a few inches deep over it. Oh, well, that strands us, doesn't it? Nothing like it. We are wade ashore. What, give up the boat? The plane's more important. We'll cut across to it on foot and leave the Vega to its own devices. But how will we capture the plane if we're on foot? We'll work out a way as we go, but we'll have to hurry. Von Starlein may head that way and we must beat him to it. Over the side with you, Tom. Hatch at once, Zoratov. Charming voice, hasn't he? I'm not going to be put off now we've come this far. This will do you no good, man. We've come to take possession of our plane. If you're wise, you'll open up and wait quietly while we come aboard. In a moment, I will open this window to shoot at you. If you are wise, you will go back to the shore. Confound it, he'll have the advantage if he does start shooting. Listen. When you knocked out that Negro, why didn't you search him for his gun? I didn't think of it, Elbean. Why didn't you? Uh, will you go? Or are you inviting me to shoot at you? Well, perhaps we'd better start trundling, what? No, Lissy, I'm not giving up now. Lissy, stop rowing. Or turn the dinghy back to the plane. We'll force our way in. Uh, might do that too, old child. But we won't turn back yet. Have you something in mind? Old sausage? We Lissies always have something in the jolly old brain box. Even if it's only hot air. Well, what's your plan? As you see, we're trundling off at a bit of an angle. Ah, that should do us. Do you reckon you can see us from here? No, we're almost level with the nose of the plane. Yes, precisely where I'm aiming. Now we'll turn around or go about at... and aim straight for it. The nose of the plane? Why? Something I remembered while old Morris was burbling. A couple of good strokes, and we'll drift the rest of the way. The, the, the nose. I, I, I don't know a great deal about uh, Catalinas. Can we go aboard through the nose? And booming howl, Bean. That's what I remembered. We tossed the anchor from the nose compartment. That's right. By thunder, the, the chain's attached to inside. It passes under the hatch. Precisely. Leaving the jolly old hatch ajar. We can slip in that way, and friend Boris won't know a belly thing about it. Stand by, one nose coming up. Have you got it? Uh, yes. Now, I'll hop aboard and make the dinghy fast to the chain. Uh, uh, oh, for goodness sake, don't make any noise. I'm trying not to. Uh, uh, there. She'll do. Right, I'm climbing down through the hatch now, Chiefy. You follow. Right. You right? Yes. Very dark in here. Yes, I know my way around. Won't Zoratov hear us as we open the bulkhead doors? He might. Have to risk that. Pow! Blast! The first one shut. We'll open it. We'll have to do it. Not for a sec. While we're in the cockpit, I'll climb up and see if the controls are still hunky-dory. You waste time getting up to the seat, Lissy. I want to know if she's ready to take off in case of emergency. 
You stay down here on the catwalk and keep watch. Oh, very well, but I'd much rather get it over. How is everything? Seems okay. I wouldn't put it past them to have sabotaged the old crate. No, oh, sizzling sausage. Oh, it's that confounded dinghy. It bumped against the hull. I hope Boris didn't hear it. Shh. What was that? The door into the navigator's compartment. Keep back, Chiefy. Yes, but keep it back. I can use my boot from up here. Hello, Boris, old bean. So, you are... Clock him, Colonel. Put him out to it. Oh, not bad in the dark. I hit him right on the point of the chin. I say that poor old chin will be a bit sore when he wakes up. What? That's where I kicked him. Uh, I take it this isn't the first time you've been in the Catalina. Absolutely not. Wonderful belly playing the old cat. With the flying seat up high like this, you can swing the old boot round in exactly the right arc to catch the chin of anyone stooping to come through the door. Now, I'll come down now and help you remove the body. Remove it? What are you planning to do with it? Oh, shift it aside so we can trundle through the door. I want to examine the old kite to see if she's in order. Right, o Colonel, roll him over. Don't waste time with the trout. He's coming to, Bertie. Uh, yes, he's coming to. We'd better go forward. No. Oh, what ho, what ho, what ho, old Boris. <laughs> Feeling like a bit of a chin wag. What? My chin? Oh! <laughs> yes, that'll teach you not to poke it into other people's boots, old Dean. Can you stand up? I can stand. Oh, it's no use feeling for your guns, Oratov. We took it from you. Yes, by Jove, and the old chief is positively yearning to use it on you. So, um... About turn, Boris. What are you going to do? Oh, it's all right, old Bean. Don't panic. We aren't going to shoot you in the jolly old back. You're going out the way we came in. Through the nose hatch. Don't push me overboard. I can't swim. The dinghy is still there. You'll go ashore in it. Yes, by Jove. And what's more, you'll go quietly, old Bean. Dawn breaking. So we'll be able to see you. And we'll be covering you all the way in. Right, old. Quick march. That's the stuff. Yes, straight along. Right, now, up through the hatch. And if you try to boot me in the chin, you land a bullet in the foot. Just watch him, Colonel. I'm watching, and my finger has never been so itchy. Yes, right, up he goes. Go on, old bean. Uh, that's it. Now, down into the dinghy. Oh. Don't worry about the painter. I'll undo that. And row straight for the beach, Zoratov. If you falter for a second, I'll shoot. Right. You're clear now. Now put some beef into it, old bean. One, two, one, two. Faster than that. Pick up the pick up the rating now. That's my boy. Cast you! Yes, and you, old sausage, with belly knobs on. <laughs> Lucy. Someone coming down to the beach. Past that big sand dune. Hey? By Jove, yes. Keep the old trout. I think that's Biggles and the gang. I hope so. There are at least four of them. Oh, I say, Boris has seen them. The poor old sausage doesn't know whether to go or come. They've seen him too. They're running down to meet him. Colonel, I... Don't Biggles and the gang! That's old Stalin and his boys. Get down, old beater. They'll blow off your head. They would come now, just when things were going our way. They still are, old sausage. We have the kite, haven't we? But they're shooting at it. In a few minutes, it'll be like a sieve. In a few minutes, if anything won't be here. Hoist onto that anchor chain. We're taking oh. off. All right, Chiefy, I think we're going to make it. Uh, we're not out of range yet. Oh, no, I know we're not. But in about one minute... Oh! oh. What's that? Are you hit? Oh, oh yes. Oh, by Jove, I caught one in the belly, belly thigh. Still, nothing to worry about. Oh, I say. Look, uh, I'll take the control. Oh, I say. No, 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 no. No fear, old boy. No, wait till we take off. I'll be right till then. Right, old bean, we're off now. She's all yours now if you want her. Oh, personally, I'm for the jolly old first aid kit. By the way, can you stay there for a moment longer? A moment longer? Oh, well, yes, I suppose so. I, I seem to be 
losing a lot of blood, that's all. Yes, well, uh, I, I'll be as quick as I can. All right, then. But uh, where are you going? I'm going to check the fuel tanks. From the smell of petrol, uh, I'd say they've been hit, too. <laughs> With Bertie wounded and the petrol tanks damaged, there's little hope of the plane leaving the island. Will Colonel Summers put back? How will Biggles and the others escape? Listen for the thrills in the next chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles! <laughs>